Joe. All right, Aaron, thank you, and thanks to Tom and for the two head coaches stopping by. Spanish language broadcast available tonight on Fox Deportes. Hunter Nice Wander, who was the punter last year, is also doing the place kicking here tonight. In a bit of a battle in camp for the punting duties with Brian Anger, former Houston Texan, and uh, we are set to go. Glad you're with us. Glad to have a capacity crowd here in camp. Let the fun begin. And taking a knee in the end zone is Anthony McFarland Jr. And that means it comes out to the 25. That's right, right? It comes out to the 25. Is that how they do it these days? Yeah, that's uh, pretty much the way they do it. Okay, here's Mason Rudolph, who is uh, going to get the start in this one. And there is a bit of a battle for that spot immediately behind Big Ben, who obviously is not going to play in this one tonight. Well, they signed Mason Rudolph to, uh, uh, they added a one-year extension to his contract, and you're right, I think there's a competition in there as far as who's going to be the backup, and with that, who ultimately uh, is going to be the heir apparent to Ben Roethlisberger when he decides to call it quits himself. Talked about Najee Harris, and he starts this game in the backfield next to Rudolph. Good protection pass is caught. That's Deontay Johnson, who was busy last year. Good for seven at the Steelers with 923 receiving yards. Hey, go, oh, 23. Blue 20. Blue 20. Harris gets it and gets it. First down, Steelers. Four interceptions in that loss to the Cleveland Browns. And, you know, in talking with Mike Tomlin, just watching him, of course, he's 39 years old now, but just tired out at the end of that year. Good protection. Harris to the 41. Najee Harris can do it all, as you said, who's able, capable, and willing to get involved in the blocking elements. But in the early going of camp, he's been impressive. He can do a lot of different things as a receiver also. Second down and seven. Here's a handoff to Ray Ray McLeod, and that's well played by Leighton Vander Esch. There's Ben. Third down and five. Pass is caught. First down, Chase Claypool, who had a big rookie year. Yeah, he had an outstanding rookie year. Big physical guy. He's got great speed. This is just an ex excellent route. You see the separation that he's able to create. So far in this opening possession, what we've seen from Pittsburgh is they have continued like they did last year of getting the ball out. You see the way that he's able to threaten the defensive back. Plenty of it. He's able to create a nice angle there for Mason Rudolph. Who has started three for three. And now a fumbled exchange. Cowboys look like they got on top of it. And they did. Micah Parsons, the rookie in further, as Claypool never got it from Mason Rudolph. There's Parsons. Cowboys. And I know I speak for all former teammates that were a part of those teams and with those two. And probably a lot of Cowboys fans as well. It sure felt good seeing those two together. No doubt. Here is Garrett Gilbert going to start with a throw and he finds Schultz. And the tight end who became real busy last year when Blake Jarwin went down with a torn ACL wide open for 15 yards. Yeah, that's a pretty good start there for Gilbert. You got Schultz who just comes right off the ball and nobody there and, and an easy completion. Garrett Gilbert, it's really his job right now to lose as the backup. He had one start last year against these Pittsburgh Steelers. Had a pretty good showing, almost pulled off the up upset. But he's been around, he's a journeyman. He's been around a lot. He's hoping to earn it. And off here is to Tony Pollard in a nice gain of six. Now with the Bears, with Danucci and Garrett Gilbert, who made a start against the Steelers. The numbers went down, and they ended up winning six games. Wide open with Schultz. In those first five games prior to the injury, it was the turnovers that 
that got them behind in so many of, game, of those games, and most of those turnovers came at the hands of Zeke Elliott fumbling the ball. So that definitely has to get cleaned up. It did as the year went along. Third down and four. Pass is caught for the first down. And a nice catch with hands on him by Noah Brown, a gain of seven. Now Noah Brown in this offense, when he was playing for Jason Garrett, he was primarily a guy who would come in on running downs. Pretty good blocker because of his size, but I always thought he was a better route specialist in terms of being a blocker. They'd run the play action, try to get him down the field, but a good route there. Pollard looking for a cutback lane on first down, able to get three. There'll be a lot of eyes and many organizations looking at what on the roster right now. Okay, six, six, six. Yeah, that's probably true for, you know, I even heard that Phillip Rivers has talked about maybe in the middle of the year if a quarterback were to go down, a team was in contention. Uh, you see a lot of movement after camp when guys are released. Second and seven in this one is out of the right tackle position, Tyler Biotish, the center. So they're working in some of these guys who they are going to be counting on. My guess is, is they'll play one series. Can't imagine them going much more than that. Trying to get these guys some reps and then get them out and keep them healthy. They're down in seven. Pass caught, first down, Dowdle to the five. I mean, he had a walker for a while coming off a hip surgery. And he feels like a new man. Well, two of those three all pro players. And we saw the results when you lose that many guys up front. Dowdle takes it inside the five. This is a nice drive, though, right here. They get the ball with a short. You can't discount the impact that all of those injuries along that offensive line had on his performance also. Second and goal. Kelvin is set. And that's what the Steeler defense, no matter the name, is extremely good at. They led the league in a loss of seven, Alex Highsmith. That's a great job of him just continuing to play. You see him over there on that right side, and he just keeps going. Now, you know, you've got your left tackles who's expecting the ball to come out. It's a three-step drop for Garrett Gilbert. God, he has to know that the offensive linemen are expecting him to get the ball out. Instead, and he takes the sack. That's Ty and Secchi getting the started left tackle for Tyron Smith. Ten play of this drive. Third down and goal, pass is nearly picked. Broken up by Trey Norwood with Malik Turner the target and a nice stop by this Pittsburgh defense down. And Seki, you just mentioned him, he gave up the sack. On this play, he doesn't see the blitz coming off the slot. Should have been picked up, but Gilbert's able to make him miss. Now almost makes a big miss, the interception. And here's nice wander to try a 29-yarder. He knocks it through. So three. <laughs> I sure did. Nice wander will kick it away. And taking a knee again, Anthony McFarland. He did on it. Said so we're going to start running the football and. Of course, they did go out and grab Najee Harris. The offensive line has been totally revamped. Only one starter returning, and he's moved from right tackle to left tackle. Pass is caught by Johnson. Makes a nice move. Gets a couple of blocks and gets a first down. Michael Parsons out there to make go. Some of the changes that we're seeing on the offensive side of the ball is they've got a new offensive coordinator, a new offensive line coach, and a tight end coach is new. So. You know, those, uh, the, especially the offensive line and top, a lot of changes, some different looks from Matt Canada, who was the quarterback coach last year, only one year in the NFL level. He'd been an offensive coordinator collegiately for a number of years. And we're seeing some of those wrinkles tonight with some of the jet sweeps and, you know, the wide receiver screens and some of the things he's been known for. Tomlin wanted to get him out there. And I, I think it's a good move. Let him experience you know, what it's like to play at this level. Here he is again, right side, trying to get to the edge. He does, first down. You know, speaking of him, Joe, one of the things that I found was interesting because I talked earlier about it, the fact that, that he is a three-down back. 
hands. And that's such a weapon for a quarterback to be able to use a guy like him in a lot of different ways. He can also stay in and block and help protect. That's a, that's a real weapon. Pass is caught by Claypool. Not a home run with the 24th overall pick. Off to a nice start here tonight. Second down and four and getting some work. Bring up third down and short as Micah Parsons has got a huge learning curve for a guy like him coming from a program like Alabama. Third down pass is in and out of the hands of Chase Claypool. And I think he was thinking about what was to Darian Thompson. Yeah, he sure was. And this ball gets away from Mason Rudolph a little bit to where he's got to extend. Right there, a receiver doesn't like that when you've got a safety who's coming down on top of you, and then you're kind of exposed. So and Rudolph could have made that a lot easier if he puts it on him. Wesley Harvin, seventh-round pick. Hunts it. He's got a shot to win this job with the Steelers. Hauled in near the 10 by Johnny Dixon. Two guys that you drafted and coached, uh, Troy Palmolo and Alan Fanica, that's what makes it really special. Aside from your family, who's the person you, you most want to share this honor with? Bob? You know, it's all the coaches that coached with me, that coached, and really the sacrifice that they make. So um, that, to me, is what it's all about. And obviously, family is important. Such a special organization. You left after 15 years with one thing left behind for Coach Tomlin. As he that into the refrigerator, our left hand Iron City beer. He says it's still there today. Uh, he'll leave it for the next guy. So we always talk about that when we get together. So I think the Iron City beer is still sitting there. It's a Pittsburgh brew beer, and uh, beer is just kind of the state of Pennsylvania, Pittsburgh. The, the Steelers version, if you will, guys, of the presidential letter next to the next guy coming into the Oval Office. Championship, Super Bowl win to the organization. And then walked away. Handed the keys to Mike Tomlin and, and Iron City. I read Iron City light, but we'll just go with just an Iron City. Either one, we're always going to be prepared. They were always tough, tough, tough. You know, they were disciplined and a lot of similarities in these teams that he coached and the one Mike Tomlin. I gotta tell you, when you start looking at the numbers that Mike Tomlin has put together in his time now, some bumps in the road. And the Rooney family has shown that they're willing to stick with their guys. They believe in them. And uh, it's been impressive. This throw behind Cedric Wilson. Held by the late, great Marty Schottenheimer. Passed away this past February. Pass is caught. And fighting for the first down is the tight end, Sean McEwen, with a completion of 13 yards on third and 12. That's a good throw. Good route. A couple nice throws now here on this possession. Well, let's hope this is a good omen. 